Tractor Tales on U.S. Farm Report is brought to you by Farmall, 100 years of milestones, community, and memories. Since 1923, it's been the one for all. Celebrate with Case IH at farmall100.com. Well, we headed back over to campus for Tractor Tales this weekend because look who we found, a familiar face on Tractor Tales, Charlie Bortner from McCook, Nebraska. Charlie, why is this tractor so special? This tractor was my great-great-grandpa's tractor that he farmed with when he bought it brand new in 1954. And it's just, it means so much to me that this is his tractor. Well, you got it when you were 15, restored it when you were 16. Now he's a freshman here at the University of Nebraska. What's your major? I'm in ag engineering with an emphasis on machine design. So how did he bring this work of art to life? That's what we find out in Tractor Tales. This tractor is a 1954 International Super M torque amplifier. This tractor is bought brand new by my great great grandpa in 54 and I have the original sales receipt for that. Me and dad found this thing tucked in the corner of the barn and we estimated that it hasn't been installed in 30 years by the time I got it. In 2020, me and dad inherited two of these MTAs. One of them was bought by my great-great-grandpa, the other one was bought by my great-grandpa. And we had the intent of someday getting them operational. When the COVID-19 lockdowns hit, it was like, well, this is a perfect time to get these things operational. So that was my lockdown project. And throughout just learning the mechanics behind this and getting them operational, I just got hooked on this antique tractor fever or rustitis, whatever you want to call it. And it's just so much fun. I had no idea what I was doing. First thing I did, I just, I ordered an original service manual, an original poet's manual, just copies of them just to help. And I just started going just piece by piece, replace the battery, make sure that the starter was good. And by the time I was done with this one, I had replaced the starter, the whole entire wiring harness, we built the carburetor, and then it was operational after about, I think it was four months on this one, uh, during that lockdown. All right, Charlie, what an amazing story, but are farm your favorite? Oh yeah. By far. Yeah, yeah, Bl my blood bleeds red. <laughs> yeah, he walked up and he had a coffee cup, and what did it say? Farm all on it. Well, thanks for joining us, and good luck at your freshman year here at the University of Nebraska. All right, when we come back, a feedlot innovation center, what it will untap and do for feedlots across Nebraska. We'll show you next. <laughs> 